If AI is a weapon, and it most certainly is, and you don't have the power to run your models, you don't have the power to defend your country. That's not hyperbole. The armies of the future will be made largely of AI-powered robots and drones. We can see it already in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Soldiers are being chased down by drones, and Operation Spiderweb, which allowed Ukraine to strike deep into the heart of Russia without the need for local soldiers, was only possible because of AI. Autonomous drones are rapidly becoming the standard, and it's only going to get more so from here. That's why any talk of an AI pause is pure fantasy at this point. Echoing Karp's statement, one US AI policy advisor said, any pause could let China surge ahead. Both Thucydides' trap and game theory make it clear the US is not going to let that happen, certainly not without a fight. When the stakes are global hegemony, no one takes their foot off the gas. AI is the new great game, the 21st century space race. But instead of rockets, it's language models and metallic dogs with machine guns.